Hey, what's up, my plant fondlers? Suburban Pool Boy coming back at y'all with another video. And today, I'm gonna show you how I air layer with plastic cups. Suburban, suburban, suburban pool boy. The things you will need are a cup, scissors, it's so loud, oh my god, moss, some, what is this? Scotch packing tape. A lighter. Uh, first things first. Moisten your sphagnum moss. Throw in some water. Water. Put that shit to the side. Step number one is to measure the thickness of your stem where you would want to be air layering it. So just based on this, it looks as if the thickness of the stem is roughly my finger. So I'm just going to create the hole in the bottom of the cup slightly bigger than my finger. Let's get started. Step number two. So I want... The cup, well, it's, going to, it's going to be looking like this. So I want the cup to be about halfway, just above those aerial roots. So, let's get cutting. I'm just going to do half. Don't worry, the top doesn't have to be perfect. struggle. The fucking struggle is real. Okay. So because I am using this specific cup, they have very hard bottoms. <laughs> hard bottom. <laughs> uh, they have a very hard bottom here, so like I couldn't, or I originally was just gonna like try to poke a, poke a scissors in there and try to cut it. But that is so freaking hard and tedious. I tried with my other ones. So, what I found with this specific cup, the easiest way to get a hole in it is... Oh, I forgot to mention this. A lighter. So, I'm just going to burn a hole. And it's okay if the hole is actually bigger than... Uh, Bigger than your finger too. And I remember the only reason why I'm burning this is because the plastic, the plastic is just so thick for the specific cup. Um, I'm pretty sure if you were to use just like one of those red normal party cups. Yeah, see it's starting to fire. That's what I want. That's what I want. Get a bit bigger. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Don't breathe in the fumes. If you are a child, please have adult supervision. But as you can see, the hole is clearly freaking large. So I'm just gonna wait that, let that cool down a tad bit. And then we're practically done! It's still a bit hot, but... Let's move on to the next step. So after you cut your cup in half, look, if the, sh the sides here are horrendous. I fucking suck at cutting straight. What can I say? Your boy ain't straight, so I can't cut straight. <laughs> okay, the next step is literally just to cut a line just down the middle connecting to the actual hole itself. Easiest way I find is literally just go like this. You see how the scissors is just at a hole, or coming out of the hole? That's all you need. It doesn't have to be perfect line too, so go ahead. Go to town. As long as you get that separation. The line doesn't have to be fucking straight. Come on! Perfect. Now, as you can see, it's able to open. Yeah. So now what I- I just like to bruise this a little bit, so... 
push this down just like this. Just to bruise it, soften it up a tad bit. And yeah, that's it. Wait, is this hot? Perfect. No. Assembly time! Let's do it! So, what I do is like to open it. Or twist, like pull it opposite directions to open it. And just go around the roots. Or go around that area. See how it's just in there? Like, look at that. Yes! Perfect. Next step. I don't know, can you see that okay? Yeah. But see how the roots are just inside that cup? Which is perfect. That's what I want. Because that's where I'm going to put my moss. Now, to seal up that area. That, see how is that cut? See how is that cut? <laughs> to seal that, your old packing tape. The reason why I'm using packing tape is because I feel like the regular clear scotch tape thing isn't strong enough. But, if that's all you have, go ahead. Just gotta use whatever you got, you know? You can make it to whatever size you want, so if you want, you can literally just tape it where the two sides meet up. Or you can push in the sides a little bit, like that. I don't know, can you see it? Yeah. Where it's slightly overlapping. That's perfectly fine, too. I think that's what I'm going to do, just to make it slightly smaller. Now with the piece of tape, you want to get perfectly under. Perfectly under where those two lines connect. As well as this. And just flop it over. And voila! Hardest step is the assembly. So now if you can see... Oh, I'm trying to cover it. The aerial roots are in. Oh, I'm trying to flip like this. Can you see like that? Aerial roots are actually in the cup. Yeah. And the last, the last, well, the last and final step. Is that sphagnum moss? And simply just stuff that shit in. Stuff it in. Stuff it in. You don't want to be snapping that stem, and then the whole point of air layering is... Your whole point of air layering is now lost. Make sure everything is nice. Nice and compact, where the roots will be able to thrive. And voila! All done! And that's it. Now you just have... Now you just literally just... Wait until your roots grow, and your moss dries out, and once your moss dries out, you simply just water that shit. I find this way, way more, such, so much more easier and less tedious than the freaking Ziploc way, because, like, there's, when I ever, whenever I use the Ziploc way, it's like, I'm using so much plastic just to wrap around the moss, it's like, oh my god, like, such a freaking waste. And, yeah, look! Arrow root is all covered in moss and it's stuck in there. Voila! Voila! I also want to air layer my big princess! Okay, sorry, I just have to block the sun from that window because it's leaving this shitty ass glare. But where you see the, the roots right here, that's where I will try to be air layering it. Air layering it. So I had already made one of these. Simply just cut it in half, burn a hole, snip it down the middle, and just, oh I didn't fold these in, and just bend in these just a little bit, just to warn them, wear them out, make them more bendable, and let's go! So what I do is I twist it first, just to open it, wrap that shit around. Okay, now that I added this pole here, I actually have to take the pole into accommodation or the piece of stick, so I may have to burn this a bit bigger. Hopefully y'all can see a bit better now. So yeah, see that we're, we're this right here. Let's go! Get everything under. So it's on, the arrow root is in there. I'm gonna put it to the other side so you can see. See how it's open here? 
get your masking tape, or not masking tape, get your, <laughs> sorry, that's a horrendous sound, get your packing tape, I'm gonna just squeeze it in a little bit, see how I slightly overlap them, so they're not actually just, I'm not taping them like this, where Hortons is together, I'm taping where the O is over, or the O is over the H. Ugh! Why are you stuck on my hand? Okay. Ugh! <laughs> Working with one hand on the tape is so hard. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm struggling only because I'm working, I'm trying to show the camera versus me actually just doing... I keep rolling this tape up. You know when you get so pissed off at one piece of tape, you're like, fuck it, I'm just grabbing another one. That's what I just did. Hopefully this one doesn't roll up on me. Make sure I'm taping the bottom so the bottom is closed. And then I'm just simply just taping over. Oh, where's that? Simply just taping so it's tight. And yeah! Next step, throwing that mouse in. You want to make sure you try to push all that moss to the bottom. And voila! Air layered with the plastic cup. And so yeah, that concludes today's video of my air layering with plastic cups. Hope y'alls enjoyed that. Please like, share, and subscribe. And catch you later, plant fondlers. Ding! Suburban, suburban, suburban pool boy.